Solvers of the proposed $3 billion Miami Casino Resort project met with a key group of people today, the owners and managers of office buildings throughout South Florida. The developer, the Genting Group, wants to get them on board to support their controversial plan. CBS 4's Natalia Zea reports. The Genting Group's proposed Resorts World Miami project would be bigger than any other resort in town, and if the developer has its way, it'll feature a large casino. But these people have other concerns besides gambling. These are the owners and managers of all those high-rise office buildings surrounding the proposed resort site in the Omni District. We believe that they are a critical group, one that will stand to potentially benefit from some of the spillover economic impact that our resort will have here in the greater downtown area. It's all about the market and how it will impact the surrounding buildings. They were instantly relieved to hear today that the 10 million square foot project would not include office space, eliminating competition in a market that already has too many vacancies. The office building people are, are glad that um, it is going to be entertainment and you know in the, the direction that they're going. I think that's better for all of us here. These folks worry about the additional traffic that could come with the resort. We're going to bring new visitors to Miami County and we don't want them to be sitting in traffic getting into our property. So we're going to work with them to address those issues. A recent CBS 4 Miami Herald Nuevo Herald Univision 23 poll shows 45 percent of South Floridians oppose the resort casino project. 47 percent support it and 8 percent aren't sure. But the developer believes project opponents will change their minds. I think everybody in this community is a community that has been hit hard by the recession is going to realize that yes we want new jobs. Yes we one private investment. Two expanded gaming bills are making their way through the state legislature right now, but even if they don't pass, the Genting Group says they will still build a resort here, though it could be smaller and take longer than five years. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.